Hi, and welcome to Environmental Systems and Society. This is the very first part of the course. It's topic 1.1, and we dive in really quickly with trying to see what an environmental value system is. Um, that is simply put, if you want to just look at a picture and get it, this is the picture. Here's the glasses, and if you pop off those lenses or you put different color lenses in, you choose to see the world, the environment around you with, different, uh, with a different perspective. And that's kind of what we'll, we'll be getting into. Before we look at the value systems, let's first just cut that value part off and look at what a system is. So a system is anything with an input, a process, and then an output, and it just keeps on going. Um, common systems that you probably have heard about are political systems, educational systems. Here's a, a list of inputs, processes, and different outputs. An activity I like to do in class is um, ask people to follow any pick one word in each column and switch it all the time and see if you can draw links between all those different columns. And inevitably you can, and then you can keep going and keep going based on real situations and seeing if you can take a, a, a belief, something, some input from media, changes the way you think potentially, uh, and then it changes your perspective on something, which might then send you back and put something into Facebook and then the other people can process that and you can actually cause people to change the, which choices they make. Um, so inputs, processes, and outputs, that's what a system uh, is. And we can see it all over this course, not just in the example I gave. The three main environmental value systems that we will look at in this class uh, are here in color. And ecocentrism, anthropocentrism, and technocentrism. Um, briefly put, here's a lot of words to it, but, uh, but briefly put, ecocentrism is someone who, per, who cares about the environment and doesn't want it touched, protected at all cost. Anthropocentric says humans should manage the environment, anthro-human. We need to be the center and focused and manage the space. Technocentrism saying that technology can fix anything. Don't worry about it. We will, we will solve these problems with technology. Uh, so we're, we're focusing more on the technocentric side. These can mix and match. You can have a little bit of this and a bit of that and a lot of this. And we'll focus on what your environmental value system is throughout this class and see if it changes as we get move through this class. So as we go through this course, it's really important to look at your environmental value system that you carry with you. Um, also, it's really important to be able to analyze all the different case studies, all the different issues out there in the world that will be presented here and look at them through different environmental value systems, uh, ecocentric um, perspectives or anthropocentric perspectives, human-centered or technocentric. Um, and if we can start looking at them with different eyes, we might be able to find solutions where we might not have even thought of those solutions before to some of these problems that we face out there in the world. So I hope this helps us get started and hopefully we have our lenses that we do wear all the time, but we're comfortable sort of taking them off from time to time and putting on some different lenses to see some of these issues uh, that come up as we go through our course. So welcome to Environmental Systems and Society.